Well, we've always believed that feeding your dog a bone is good for their teeth, but now we're being told that it's really bad and it's possibly fatal. And here to tell us why is Dr Lee Davidson from Your Vet Online and her mate Brooklyn, who is possibly gorgeous. Uh, welcome to you both. Thank you for coming in. I mean, there's that saying, that well-known saying, give the dog a bone. Is that wrong? Wrong in all cases? Look, if you talk to most vets, they'll say, absolutely, we don't want to be feeding our dogs bones. But we know people do. So the big thing is to do it properly because bones can actually cause a numerous problem. So broken teeth, they can get lodged inside the um, stomach, the intestines, and then we have to go in and do surgery. And um, if you eat too many, sometimes you can actually cause your dog to get constipated. So it can be quite um, traumatic for dogs. Because I guess traditionally wild dogs did eat bones, but uh, I mean, we're now breeding them domestically and they're just, and the system's just not up for it. Well, I don't know so much that, but we've got to remember back in the old days in the wild um, animals, you know, they they died young, so if they got a broken tooth, it might have got infected and then they're not going to be able to live as long. Now, in a domesticated um, purpose with our dogs, why, why would we put them through that stress? Yeah, are there some breeds that are more likely to be harmed than others? Yeah, so smaller dogs tend to have worse mouths and so in that case we often see a lot of dental t disease with our smaller breeds. Um, dogs that eat uh, some of the really big um, bones can actually get the broken teeth quite regularly and we do see that um, yeah so better to <laughs> better to give no bones at all but if you really have to are there guidelines around that yes and like I always like to say to people if you're going to feed a bone you want to feed a raw bone so never a cooked bone because cooked bones can splinter you want to feed bones that are um, really big actually so as big as the big as the dog's head that's a really good guide and then the third thing is to never cut a bone because as soon as you cut that bone although it shows off that yummy marrow it's actually going to harm the teeth Brooklyn looks like he's really <laughs> disappointed with the whole news of this that there's going to be there's going to be no bones moving forward um, what, what about for cats cat I mean it cooked bones for cats really bad absolutely never cooked for any animal but cats sometimes I find bones are just that little bit too they, they don't enjoy them that much so I actually prefer to give cats strips of beef so like a nice long strip strip of beef and then they chew on it and that yeah, can right. help okay yeah. all right now uh, moving on and a recent outbreak of the disease leptospirosis has caused concern among pet owners it's spread by rats and it's hey. picked up by dogs through the urine or contaminated soil and in fact it seems to be happening around building sites where dogs are, are, are drinking yeah. the water around there that yeah. the rats have urinated in. Yeah absolutely so lepto is um, present in most of the states in Australia. I did a little informal sort of survey last night among vets in Australia and yes it's it's present everywhere. The thing is is how actually how um, is it actually in your location so um, what do you want this? Okay, so you need to just really be aware. Absolutely. And I think the big thing is, people have got to remember, talk to their vets. Um, there are things that you can do, so you can vaccinate, you can make sure your dog isn't actually licking out of puddles and they're not rummaging in rubbish or where their vet rats are. The other thing is to pick up your rubbish, keep your properties yeah, right. clear of rubbish from rats. And because of the problems that we're having, just be really careful that your dog isn't going anywhere where someone's laid rat bait, because yeah. now we're seeing rat bait problems. Yeah, I know that several dogs have died from it uh, recently, the, the, the Lipto that is. All right, thank yeah. you so much. Um, Brooklyn, you've been amazing. <laughs> Favourite guest of the morning, apart from you, Lee. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Baz. Thank you. I was looking